Hello everyone, welcome to a new session of Learn with Optimizer. I'm Ignacio Martinez, part of the customer success team here in Optimizer. I'm customer success manager. And today I will be covering how to create DSA campaigns with product feed information with the help of Optimizer. So you will find the solution campaign automator in the auto optimizations section. So here in our left side menu, you will see management and optimizations and right here in optimizer advanced, advanced campaigns, you will find campaign automator inventory feed campaigns. This is how you will access through our new menu. Now, what you can expect from campaign automator besides of DSA campaigns. The main value of campaign automator is that you will have the freedom to connect a spreadsheet, an XML file, or even the merchant feed to the system and tell the system that you wish to use the attributes or the information coming from that source to shape and create your campaigns, ad groups, and ads, and also keywords if you want. Whenever you access to this solution right here, the first time you will see the invitation to create your first campaign template. Otherwise you will see what I'm checking right now. That is the library here of all the previous created templates in this test account. And you will be able to create a new template from this, from this dropdown. Now, before we jump into the campaign template, creation, something very important is that as we will use our merchant feed as the source, you need to connect that to Optimizer. If you're familiar with that, you can do that. For example, if you go here to your profile in link accounts to Optimizer, there you can easily connect the merchant center, a valid login, and then the merchant center links to Optimizer. Now, once that it's ready, you come here, you customize your template, you can use a name just to identify this template and differentiate with all the other templates that you will be working with later. For example, DSA test. And here in source data feed, I can select among four options. So here I will be able to tell the system that I would like to work with one of the link merchant fits. And then click here in fetch to see all the attributes and the information available that I will be able to use in this campaign tape template. You save the changes here and something pretty cool that you will find in the settings for any campaign automator template is the inventory filters. The most practical use case is whenever you want to focus your campaign in products that are in stock only. So you will be a guarantee that no products out of stock will be considered for the, for example, for the creation of new ad groups. In this case, I will use an example based on an attribute that I have in my merchant feed that is a target country. In this case, I will tell the system, hey, let's consider only products that have the US as the target country. And then you can use here in the campaign name right away something that you will see later in all the levels of the template that is the dynamic insertion. Dynamic insertion is something very valuable here because you will be able to load the, the attributes, the information coming from your source and assign, for example, names. So for example, if I wish to create one campaign for one campaign, per product or per brand, I can use dynamic insertion, for example, with this symbol right here and tell the system, I would like to create one campaign for each of the brands that I have available in my merchant feed in this case. Or you can use, use like a standard name if you want. The next important thing here is the campaign attributes. This is where you specify that you wish to create dynamic search ads. I will use as a 
the uh, domain the optimizer um, website here as an example and the language English. below you will see other settings that are mandatory or are available in like in google for example the, the networks the start budget here if you wish to target or exclude locations from this campaign the languages if you wish to work with start dates or end dates as well the bidding strategies and audiences if you wish to also work with that now the next part is the ad group level template so you can start creating choose the first ad group and here is the part that i think will be very useful for many of you is how you create one ad group for each one of your products so i can uh, use dynamic insertion in this case to load for example product name so i have let's imagine that i have 20 products i can include product name here and this will guarantee that i will create 20 ad groups one ad group per product and then the max cpd and then the next part will be the dynamic ad target so in this case you need to include urls and if you wish to include the links that are present in your merchant feed that's also possible right here again with the help of the dynamic insertion we use here this symbol and we use select link so this means that you will create one target for each one of the links that are present in the feed you save the changes here you click here to create your first ad and here you will see that you will not be able to create headlines but you can include information from your feed through the descriptions so here i can for example tell the system that i wish to consider again product names and the price so it will mean that for each one of the products i would like to display this phrase and the belonging price. The rest are optional settings, but this is like the minimum required. You save your ad groups, your ad group template. And finally, you go here and click save and preview to save the campaign template. So this will take you to the last part of this tool that is the preview mode. Here you will see a summary of everything before you submit changes to Google. So you will see a summary of how many campaigns will be created, how many ad groups, how many ads and dynamic ad targets. Now, as a disclaimer, in this example, in this merchant feed that I use for this example, I only have one product and that's the reason why I only see one ad group, one ad and one dynamic ad targets. But if I have, again, 20 products, I will see 20 ad groups, 20 ads and 20 dynamic ad targets. So you will see here, an overview for each one of the levels, for example, a breakdown here for the campaign, how many ad groups, ads, targets, a preview of the ad group. In this case, I'm using the product name. And again, for the ads, this is probably something very useful, something that you would like to see is how the dynamic search ad will look like. So it will start with the URL, the dynamic generated headline and then here below I included the product name and also the the price. Something cool about Campaign Automator that I really love is that it also includes warnings. So whenever our system detects that there's for example a limit that will be exceed in terms of for example character for a description, you will see warnings and you will have tags here. So instead of saying new with green, probably this will be marked in red. And also we try to include description. So that's like pretty cool because the system will tell you how, what should be fixed. So this should, so this could run as you, you expect. And yeah, so here we are including the link as the dynamic at target. And finally, if you are happy with all of this, you have the last confirmation button that is if you wish to 
apply these changes only once or a schedule. And the schedule is like the the next part, like the most advanced benefit of that you will find in Campaign Automator. Because this all this process can be automated. So let's imagine that I have this template, I'm happy with this template, and in the future, I wish that Optimizer will automatically create new ad groups for my new products in the feed. You can automate this process. In this particular structure, we will see every time that the automation runs, if there are new information in the feed. And if that's true, then we will generate, auto-generate the ad group and the ad and also the dynamic ad target. I will show you just to verify if, if you wish to see how this looks like with a little bit more of products, I will remove the inventory filter that I show at the beginning. By the way, the inventory filter also needs to be, needs to match. The conditions should match with the products to, for example, create new ad groups. Yeah, that's like a rule, something that you tell the system that you should be mandatory. So in this case, as I remove the inventory filter, now I see two ad groups. So as I was mentioning, I only have two products in this merchant feed. So now I see the other product with the new ad group that will belong to that product. Also the ad and the dynamic ad target. Now to wrap up all of this example, Something that I would like to show as a complement is, for example, let's say that you wish to shape your template with different attributes and in use inventory conditions, inventory filters, and tell the system, hey, I would like to use, for example, target country, but I don't remember like how many products I have for, I don't know, the US, how many products I have for another country. If you need guidance in terms of the distribution of your products and the attributes, definitely I recommend to check here in management and optimizations in the shopping section, the shopping campaign management, because in this solution, you will see this cool tab that is called Merchant Fits. So we will show you a list of all the link Merchant Fits regarding this account. So all of after you finish all the connection to Optimizer. And in this particular case, you will see the summary of how many products, as I was mentioning, I only have two here. And if you click here and view more details, you will see the breakdown. So for example, if I go to the last attribute here, target country, I will see that only have two products. One has the US and the other one has CL. This is something very useful in terms of visualization. Uh, if you wish to have one tab open with this one and the other one with your campaign automator template, that that will be like a good, that will generate definitely a good experience and save a lot of questions while you are trying to use different attributes. But yeah, I hope that all of this demo could be useful for you, could be also like a good invitation to try campaign automator. Definitely, this is one of the type of solutions that saves a lot of time because you don't need to go and manually create all the levels. For example, something that takes a lot of time in, in, in Google. Here, you can just create one template once, automate the process, and you can like uh, rest assured that Optimizer will generate new ad groups with the information, with the latest information available from your feed. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching.